for a miracle. I hope he sees no uh, Come on, let's go. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. I am out here at the beautiful campgrounds known as Yellow Banks. I come here quite a bit actually. Um, I did some few modifications to the truck as you guys are gonna see. Everything's still not complete. I learned on going on each adventure that I'm gonna keep adjusting uh, the sleeping quarters uh, that's gonna work best for me. So I did do a little bit of modification. Here's kind of the outside view of it. Uh, it was storming, raining pretty bad um, it said it was gonna rain all night but I don't think it's going to but hey bonus if it does and here we go we got the back as you can see I did add some carpet um, I don't think that light setup is gonna actually work so I still might have to find out try to get some different lights um, but I did add carpet to the top it's not all complete yet like that corner's not complete uh, nothing down on the window um, but yeah so I did add the carpet on top and on the bottom um, if you guys are curious how I did that, because uh, I got a quote, it was like $900 to add carpet to the topper and to the bed of the truck, and I did it for 40 bucks. Uh, he's gonna have his little setup over here, and I'll be sleeping on the back of my truck. Uh, tonight's meal, we're gonna make SOS, or I don't know if this is the correct term, but my grandma would always call it shit on a shingle. So we're gonna make shit on a shingle, SOS, chip beef, uh, some people call it. Uh, we're gonna make that tonight and then in the morning we're gonna make some uh, scrambled eggs and bacon burritos and of course all that wouldn't be complete without some of the Fowler's Makery Mischief spicy chipotle sauce. shelter right, i know the truck looks cozy and all but it's just something about a, a nice hot tent set up a little tp hot tent to kind of uh get the camping vibes going y'all remember edgy marv from the uh this is actually the same tent that we use in the amazon's cheapest hot tent and wood burning stove now we didn't bring the stove because i don't feel like taking him to the er with that whole damper thing i don't want to walk in on him but you know what i'm saying so uh we're gonna use this little table to our advantage. I'm not gonna actually kick it cooking out of the truck. I'm gonna bring my stove over here and we're gonna be making that SOS that I talked about. And then we're gonna do a beer review. I don't do a whole lot of beer reviews, but I did go ahead and found one of those new Mountain Dew uh, hard, what are they called? It's, it's a Mountain Dew beer. Okay, yeah, so I got the watermelon one. Everyone said, you know, hey, you need to try the watermelon one. I'm actually a big Mountain Dew drinker, so uh, this is going to be interesting. And we do have that bottle, that $700 bottle of the McAllen 18. It's an 18-year-old Scotch whiskey. Uh, we're going to go ahead and bust that out because I forgot as part of the last video where I paid off the Jeep. We were going to celebrate. I didn't even get around to it. Uh, so we're going to be taking a few shots of that tonight. You know, if he was a little bit taller, you could probably get this thing up a little bit higher. Yeah. Just saying. Are you a good jumper? <laughs> we done definitely hit the struggle bus today it done ran us over <clears throat> last minute the good thing is it's not raining yet it's like that song you guys know what song i'm talking about i hear the crystal raindrops fall If you guys can hear that, our phones are going off saying that we're in a tornado warning right now. Woo, it's about to get interesting tonight. Yes, sir. If you're not from the Midwest, you wouldn't understand, but we love tornadoes. We don't get scared. We don't run away. We go out and we chase them. We show them who's the boss. This is our turf. It's our block, right? So, yeah. Dome up. 
Come it's, on. Our, it's our hood. It's our hood, right? I don't know if you guys can hear it, but tornado sirens are going off now. Um, which is surprising, you know, it's not really surprising this time of year. Uh, I mean, there's the other day it was like 65 degrees out. Day before that it was like 20 degrees. So, uh, weather fluctuating like that, hot, cold, hot, cold, perfect brewing temps for a tornado. So, but then again, don't listen to me. I'm not no meteorologist or whatever the hell they're called. I'm just, uh, this guy enjoys the outdoors. Alright, so most of this video is probably going to be hard to hear me because we got one of the tornado sirens right over here. It's really loud, so I figure we probably should start making dinner now in case something were to happen. Um, so yeah, hopefully you guys can hear me during this part. This was not planned, by the way, but makes for good content. I mean, kind of puts you on the edge of your seat. We're not too worried. We got a couple of fields back here. The main road through there. We'll find our way out if we get in the center of a situation where we have to leave in a hurry. So everything's kind of still put up on my truck. And so if we do have to hurry up and throw stuff in the back and then take off in case of a tornado does come, uh, we are ready. Thunder is definitely going off over there. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and get let's go ahead and grab everything to make for dinner. going off again are we crazy or what start with some flour I know you guys probably are having a hard time hearing me flour and add our milk in Shelter's gone. Norwalk, several houses. Uh, I'm gonna. We haven't gotten a sense of what that damage is yet. One is gonna start wondering if we're gonna start seeing roof, um, uh, windows blown out. Well, we or... just lost. Uh, we just lost dinner. <laughs> I was gonna make SOS for you guys, but 
Yeah, this is crazy. That came out of nowhere. The National Weather Service in Des Moines has issued a tornado warning for southeastern Lucas County. That's right where we're at right now. We're in Des Moines. Eastern Decatur County in south central Iowa. Northwestern Wayne County in south central Iowa. Southeastern Clark County in south central Iowa until 6 p.m. At 5.22 p.m., a confirmed large and extremely dangerous tornado was located 13 miles northwest of Cordon, moving northeast at 45 miles per hour. This is a particularly dangerous situation. Take cover now. Expected hazards included a damaging tornado. Tornadic debris has been confirmed by radar. The following impacts are expected. You are in a life-threatening situation. Whew. Okay, so that tornado just came right through. Totally took out Marvin's camp. Lifted the back of my truck up a little bit. It is super calm right now. Like say the what eye of the storm or whatever. That's crazy. <clears throat> now we gotta try to salvage what's left of camp. Dinner tonight uh, is no longer gonna be SOS. As you guys saw me making it. I mean, yeah, I got a little dark out, but all of a sudden it just that storm just came out of nowhere. I mean those winds had to be I don't even know. 50, 60 mile an hour winds. Super crazy. Everything's lost. As you can see, the whole campsite's just gone. We gotta start trying to find out exactly where everything is. There's three tornadoes on the ground. I mean, this is wild. There's our dinner sitting right there. We gotta pick up all this trash that we had accumulated on our campground. Storm or no storm, you know, pick up after yourself. All right, well, I'm gonna let you go. I gotta start trying to find everything, so. All right. All right, love you, be safe. All right, too, always. Bye. Bye. Had to give a quick update to the wife, let her know we just kind of survived a tornado. This is wild. Whole campsite's gone, man. I mean, I can replace this. It's not, you know, the end of the world. I'm not gonna play anyone's safety at first, but, um, Siren just going back off again. Like I said, there's three uh, three confirmed tornadoes on the ground. And to be honest, as crazy as that was, I still don't want to leave. I want to I want to stay in and hunker it down. This one's for you, Steve. Uh, this thing's melted down. I was going to show you guys earlier too. This is the hill that was coming down as well. It was a little bit bigger than this, not by much. Maybe like half the size of a golf ball, but yeah, crazy. All right, so he's heading out, uh, not to abandon camping tonight, <clears throat> but um, yeah, so here's what the tornado did. I think that was already there, that cut. It knocked all these branches up and over, flooded this whole area. We're just on our way to go to, up to uh, Burger King, go get some food since our dinner is out spread all across the woods. And we got, I mean, look at this, damage everywhere. Man. I'm gonna have to just drive right up over this. I don't think that's gonna be that big of a deal. Maybe I can move some of it. <sighs> yep, knocked this all over. All right, this is gonna be interesting.
why you gotta have a truck. That dude's definitely listening to that voicemail like, what the fuck? <laughs> Holy crap. Here you guys go, there's some more bunch of down trees. Gosh, look at that. The whole base of that tree came down from top of that. Tree that came down. Yep. Oh, and it blew the gate and hit his truck, too. Pretty good, man. Tree landed right on his house. guys whole house is gone crazy yeah I, I'm gonna try to go back and show you guys everything that happened but there's a couple trucks flipped over on the side of the road over there and the rain's coming down hard again right now as you can see This tornado hits and it just destroyed everything. Okay, well I talked, I'm trying to, that's why I got this plow truck, just like couldn't get through my work. Oh yeah, no, I had to run over the trees to get out. Is anybody over here at the pond? No, I, so everyone had left, we were the only ones here. Okay. Like I said, we were at T2, we drove around a little bit before the storm actually hit. I didn't see anyone else camping, um, but yeah, on our way out, we had to drive through all them uh, trees and shit over there that yep. are across that road, but figure I'd just let someone know, whoever knew that we were out camping, that we're good, we made it out. We just okay. went to Burger King because I was in the middle of cooking my food right yeah. as that tornado hit, yeah. and my stove and everything just went flying out in the woods. Now, we're going to close the road and just shut this down for now until we get everything cleared up. Okay. okay. Um, you have stove. camping stuff out here still? It's all over the woods. Oh, yeah. Okay. I mean, I could probably come back tomorrow. I guess. I mean. Yeah, we just don't want people in here right now tonight. Other people that was camping out here. <laughs> yeah, I, I kind of told somebody who's out here. Yeah. We had a fun ride. Oh man, let me tell you, <laughs> my dinner's all over the woods. Fuck. Right here. Uh, yeah, just give me a call tomorrow. We're just gonna shut down the gate just so we don't have more people in here. Sounds good. <laughs> So, obviously you can't camp out tonight due to tornadoes. Um, sorry, I can't actually do a whole lot of the camping part. You know, we're staying in the back of my truck and all that. Uh, I will definitely try to get up another video after this one gets posted. Uh, the following week, I'm trying to get at least one video out per week. Uh, trying to start boosting up my channel and all that fun stuff. So, it was a wild video. I appreciate you guys who stuck through and watched the whole thing. I mean, absolutely crazy. Uh, definitely got headache, adrenaline rush from all that. So uh, thank you guys for watching. Please do me a favor. I, I know I don't ever say this, but um, share this video out. Uh, you know, subscribe if you haven't. Like the video. Uh, help YouTube kind of recognize that I'm putting out some decent content. You know, so until then, I'll catch you guys on the next video.